All right, so today we have South Park, uh, Mr. Garrison's new V. Uh, we're just going to say V. Um, I heard this was uh, quite the episode. So I guess it aged pretty well, but aged pretty bad at the same time. So I guess some of the jokes, you know, didn't age well at all. But I guess some of the things that happened in the episode... Um, aged pretty well so uh i guess we'll just get into it and see and uh i'll try not to say anything too offensive because i know this is kind of a yikes episode so uh let's go hello mr garrison i'm dr biber i'll be performing your surgery today god bless you doctor i know you'll make me well again Okay, so I guess Mr. Garrison's getting a surgery, but I love how he's wording it. He's like, I know you'll make me well, like he's sick or something. You want to have a vaginoplasty. My whole life I've been a woman trapped in a man's body. <laughs> there we go. There's one of those uh, jokes that really didn't age well or aged pretty well depending on who you are exchange operation is my last chance at happiness yep all right then that's then. what they usually say too just relax mr garrison i think if more people could just see a sex change operation they would know how perfect no i do not want to see it the first thing i'm going to do is slice your balls no oh god oh god okay okay they're using uh, i didn't think they would use live footage holy shit um okay i didn't think they would use live footage not gonna lie uh that's a little too hard for me to watch i'm not really into seeing you know the penis get sliced up so uh we'll be back in a sec i kind of skipped the sex change part just because it besides the fact that it's gross um i'm not sure if i can even show that on youtube but uh if you want my actual reaction here you go <laughs> All right, now that that's out of the way, let's get back to the episode. Dude, don't be nervous. How can okay, be nervous so Kyle wants, wants to play basketball. All right, that's cool. I'm glad we're going to something a little bit more wholesome than what we just saw. I beat out your fat ass, Cartman. Of course, Cartman has to say something, you know, racist to Jews. Hi boys. Now you're all here because you're the best of the best. I know that you've all right, Kyle. Let's see what you got. Now let's get out there and show <laughs> me what you got. Man, of course they all have to be uh, tall black guys. So real quick, if they're the best at their school, why is Kyle here and not Token? Never mind. Forget I said that. Oh, poor Kyle, man. He can't keep up. I feel bad for watching him like this. <laughs> damn. Oh, this is so secondhand embarrassment. Like, damn. I feel so bad for Kyle. You, uh, you're the best player in your school, are you? Yep, I love basketball. I want to play for the Denver Nuggets someday. Yeah, uh, look, kid. You've got great skills and a great attitude. But you're just not physically built for the game. What do you mean? Well, it's just that Jews can't oh, play basketball. Damn. Okay, I was not expecting the coach to actually say that. Damn. That's messed up. All right, kids. We got to work on that shooting. Come on. Poor Kyle, man. He gave it his best, but it wasn't good enough. Dude, you were awesome, Kyle. your best shot right that's all you can do that is true stan giving your best shot really is all you can do <laughs> kenny watch cartman's gonna be an asshole ain't he <laughs> there it is <laughs> damn I'm totally ripping on you at a totally inappropriate time. I know. I deserve it. 
Yeah, you know why? Because Jews can't play basketball. You're right. <laughs> oh my god. Jesus, that's no fun. Okay, so real quick, is that true? Can Jewish people not play basketball? Is there any like um Jewish basketball players in the NBA? If there is, let me know. Hey everybody, you're not gonna believe it! Believe what? This is Mr. Garrison! Oh, only it isn't Mr. Garrison! It, he's a woman now! <laughs> oh my Hello God. everybody! <laughs> Can you believe it? Okay. I'm one of you so, um, Mr. Garrison, who I think wants to be called Mrs., is, uh, she got a sex change, but she didn't change her hair. Like, what the hell? Like, they couldn't do anything with the hair or at least get a wig? Like, come on. Wow, just look at all these tampons. Regular, heavy flow. Oh, boy, I can't wait till I get my first period. I hate to tell you, but I don't think you're going to get your first period. Also, uh, I just noticed, but uh, look at the douche in the background. That's like the same exact douche mascot that was in the uh, Voter Die episode. I thought that was a pretty cool callback. Hi, gals. Oh, boy, can you believe the sales they're having out there? Well, I'm about to pay out my vagina. <laughs> so, I guess this is one of these jokes that, you know, kind of aged well, but didn't. You know, like someone who transitioned going into the women's restroom. I mean, you can just see it, man. These girls do not look comfortable at all. For the first time. Give us a hug. Girls club. Oh, right, no. Oh, wow. This is great. Look at that. I'm pink sitting down like a dainty, dignified oh. little woman. <laughs> hey, any ladies want to go see a sad movie? Ew. Oh, gross. You guys try those new wings, tampons? I mean, he, he turned into a chick, but he's still taking a uh, man-sized type shit, so, yeah. Hello, boys. It's me, your teacher, Mrs. Garrison. You guys... Mr. Garrison has titties. <laughs> I had a sex change operation. My penis is now a vagina. Why? Okay. Why does Mrs. Garrison have to stand like this? So, like, come on. Like, most char uh, South Park characters don't even stand like this. But they went out of their way to draw her, like, spreading her legs and shit. I think that's kind of funny. Vagina, and I'm experiencing womanhood for the first time in my life. See you in class. <laughs> oh, my God. That walking cycle's crazy. Operation. Oh, another uh, callback I just noticed. Uh, if you look at the picture in the back, uh, that's the same outfit they were wearing in the uh, Aspen episode. You know, the one where Stan got bullied by the 30-year-old? I think I think that was a pretty cool callback that they have them in that outfit in that background picture. But our teacher, Mr. Garrison, he just had his penis made into a vagina. How come? Penis! <laughs> Your teacher I had a sex change? Oh my god. <laughs> but that does it. I'm taking you boys out of that school. Gerald, that is okay, very so close of you. Like, you shouldn't judge people. Here's the other change. thing. He's a Can parents nowadays actually act like this if their teacher goes through a sex change? Is that a reasonable reaction that Gerald have? Or is that like completely unacceptable nowadays? Just curious. Sure. How are we supposed to explain this to our children? It's very but yeah, he is a teacher, and that does kind of make it an awkward conversation, you know. Who they are on the inside. Yeah, that's right. They feel like there's somebody trapped in another person's body, and so they can have a surgery that makes them more into the person they see themselves as. Do you understand? Totally. I totally understand. There. You see, Gerald, he totally understands. Okay, so. I don't know if I feel that way. I, I mean, that's a w weird way of uh, thinking, you know, that there's someone else trapped inside you. I mean, you are who you are. You know what I mean? But I don't know. I don't want to get too into that. That's a touchy subject. So I hear you're interested in reconstructive surgery. Oh, yeah, no. You no. You made him into one. Oh, yes, Mr. Garrison. Uh, yes, he had a vaginoplasty. Mm -hmm. Well, do you also do other surgeries like that? Sure. You see, sometimes a woman wants to be a man. That procedure is called a peenyplast. A peenyplast. No, no, I, I want to be tall and black. Oof. Yikes. Yikes, Kyle. 
And look at the uh, doctor's face. He's kind of like, oh. You what? He looks a little taken I back by that. Jewish. I feel like a tall black man. <laughs> oh, you want a negroplasty? Yeah, well, a negroplasty. It's a fairly common procedure. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, this doctor's crooked, man. He switched up so fast. You're really just the reverse of a Caucasian plasty, just like Michael Jackson had. Let's take a look here. Like Michael Jackson had? I thought he had, like, a skin disease. Huh. What we do is slice your face and peel it back so we can insert new pigment. That sounds so painful. Inside. We break the arm bones oh. in several places and put bracers to make them break longer. Break the arm bones? Now the knees, we need to oh. snap off and fill with small round objects that can cause better... This sounds horrible, man. This dude is talking about, like, breaking all his bones and peeling his face back. Like, at what point is this actually worth it? Movement. And we finish it off with a nice peony plasty to enhance the genitalia. Okay, that part might be worth it. takes about seven hours and costs roughly $3,000. God damn, that's uh, not a lot of me. money. Is this really a good idea? Well, it's a good idea if you want to be tall and black. <laughs> Otherwise, I wouldn't commit. <laughs> oh my god. Hello, Mr. Slave. Boy, have I been... Oh, I forgot he was with Mr. Slave. I got some tampons. I should be getting my period really soon. I don't think Mr. Slave is uh, feeling the sex change, man. Hope I don't get too emotional and drive you crazy with my PMAS. <laughs> Mr. Slave, I got something for us, too. Would you like oh, to take God. this beautiful woman to bed? I just don't want to imagine uh, Mrs. Garrison in that uh, gown. No, thanks. No thanks. Come on, Mr. Slave, I want to try out my new snooge. I can't believe you just went ahead and had that surgery without even asking me what I thought. Well, I assume that is pretty you messed up. Me. It's still me. I just have a vagina instead of a penis. But I'm gay. I don't like vaginas. <laughs> don't you even care that I? Exactly, Mrs. Garrison. Mr. Slave likes dick, not vagina. Like, come on, you should have known that. I was suffering. I wasn't happy the way I was. It's great that you feel better, but you never stop to think about how the people around you would feel. Look, we can still be together. All you have to do is stop being gay. <laughs> how can you say that? Yikes, man. Too. You just can't I'm say that, gay. Mr. Garrison. I'm a woman. Jesus. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, so is that it? You're just going to walk <laughs> out? You men are all alike. Go ahead and find somebody who doesn't have a vagina, you fag. God, Mrs. Garrison is just so unhinged, man. It doesn't matter. Like, if Mr. Garrison's a guy, a woman, or freaking Trump, he's just so unhinged. Mom, Dad, I have awesome news. The doctor who gave Mr. Garrison a sex change said he can make me tall and black. What? Dr. Biber said he can give me a negroplasty so I can finally look the way I've always wanted. He even took my picture and then did computer imaging to show what I would look like after the surgery. <laughs> sorry kyle there's no way in hell you're gonna look like that and uh real quick i think it's hilarious that uh gerald who never wears anything else is all of a sudden wearing a dolphin shirt just wanted to point that out that's kind of odd oh just great you see sheila this is what your transgender progressive thinking gets you now your son wants to be transracial can i have three thousand dollars transracial yeah, that's I? crazy absolutely not kyle but why not you said sometimes people need surgery to make she them did. feel better about themselves. Yes, but Kyle! Well, all my life I felt I was black. I listen to hip-hop, I watch UPN, and I love playing basketball. My body doesn't reflect who I am inside. Kyle, you have to accept your body the way it is. Why? Why do I... See, uh, this is such a weird, like, concept. Like, okay, so first Sheila said, you know, people feel not who they're who they are like they're born differently but feel like someone else but now she's like completely switching up she's saying like the complete opposite of what she just said like this whole concept is just so messy i have to accept it when i can change it the answer is no kyle you're not going to have negro plastic but jews can't play basketball <laughs> kyle you better stop being anti-semitic right now mister i'm never speaking to either one of you ever again damn that's seriously escalated oh that does it where are you that Dr. Fiber is about to get his ass bitten off. <laughs> For some reason, I don't know why I was laughing at him just running past the uh, grass like that. Who the hell do you think you are? 
Dr. Biber. I love how he just answers completely normal. Kyle's father. That's right, and I also happen to be a lawyer, and I'm going to have you sued for malpractice and your clinic shut down. What is that on your shirt? Ooh. What the? They're, they're dolphins. Why? Oh, you like dolphins. Mm -hmm. I love dolphins. Ah, okay. Every okay, so that's why he's wearing the dolphin shirt. This dude's going to turn him into a dolphin, which is absolutely ridiculous if he really does it. But that has hardly any bearing on what I'm here to... I can make you one. What? Invert the back, move the esophagus to the top of the head. Yes, a full dolphin of plastic can be achieved relatively simple. <laughs> this guy's fucked a... up, man. Dolphin? If I could swim with the dolphins, the soft and gentle dolphins, why can't I swim with the dolphins? <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> and I like no, no, Gerald is a dolphin. He's still wearing his little uh, Jewish hat. Um, I completely forgot what it is, but I just thought that was funny. It's crazy. There's nothing crazy about a person wanting to look on the outside the way they feel. Along the way. <laughs> so dumb. It's girls gone wild. Oh my God! Girls gone wild. Does anyone actually remember that? You know what's crazy? It's crazy to think that uh, this was actually a thing when nowadays something like this, it's just like, it's dumb. I mean, just go watch porn. You know, it's like everywhere on the internet. But I guess back then, this was like the closest thing you could get to porn. No, you shouldn't. Oh, God. Why do they... Oh. That's pretty gross, oh boy, and uh, do they don't even move. To get a look at our tits, won't they? Men are all the same. My boyfriend walked out on me. Turns out he was a fag. But I've been living it up ever since, having sex with all kinds of different guys. Girl Bruh, power. I don't think they care. You know, the strange thing is, I haven't gotten my period yet. Is there a reason a woman might miss her period? Well, normally, if a woman misses her period. <laughs> okay, I love how she says, well, normally. I like how she emphasized normally. Period, it means she's pregnant. Pregnant? Oh my god. Of course. I haven't gotten to experience a period because one of those truckers I slept with got me knocked up. One of those truckers? Oh my everybody. god. Oh boy, okay, Mrs. Garrison, no, you were not. It's not possible. Oh my god. Look at Gerald. Holy shit. He looks horrible. Not only that, but uh, I still think it's hilarious how he's still wearing his little uh, Jewish hat. And uh, I'm so sorry, I forgot what it was called. I know someone in one of the comments of the other video told me what it was, but uh, I completely forgot what the little hat was called. But yeah, I, I still think it's funny he's still wearing it. Oh, nightmare fuel. Uh, I'm the happiest I've ever been. So scared, so creepy. Look, I, your daddy's a dolphin. <laughs> oh my god, look at Ike, man. He is probably traumatized, man. I wish I knew what Ike was thinking. He looks so like. That blank expression is perfect. A dolphin? <laughs> Sheila, it, it was wrong of us to be so judgmental of Kyle. If he isn't happy with who he is, then who are we to deny him? Jeez, look at all those stitches. You know what this actually reminds me of? Uh, I never actually saw the movie, but I saw a clip of it. It was called uh, Tusk. And uh, I guess this dude gets turned into a walrus. Um, that's what this kind of reminds me of. They both look equally horrifying. Gerald, this is crazy. Oh, I used to it is I crazy. crazy. But Dr. Fiber told me that there are a lot of other people out there who are trans species. Who? All I did is change my appearance to look the way I felt here. And I'm <laughs> oh telling you now that if we don't let Kyle do the same, he may never be happy. Ever. We owe him more than that, Sheila. We owe him understanding. <laughs> oh my god the way the water just comes out but uh you know like i said this episode is just so like yikes because um 
they're using it, you know, the whole trans thing, how they don't feel like they were born, you know, a guy or a girl and want to get a sex change or whatever, but they make it ridiculous because Kyle wants to be black and Gerald turned into a dolphin. So, you know, it, it's kind of like a really touchy subject when they tackled it in this manner. Oh, wow. he actually did it? it. Did it oh, yeah. God. That does not look worth it, Kyle. My daddy's gonna take me back down to the All Star game to see if I can try for the team again. Come on, Kyle, we should get going. All right, Dad. Oh my God. Dude, look at the kids, man. They look so like traumatized from this. Just completely shocked. I mean, I would be too. I mean, that's a completely ridiculous scenario. You know, a dolphin taking a black kid to you know somewhere ridiculous. He's a Jewish dolphin. He is. A Jewfin. <laughs> you here for an abortion too? Yeah, I discovered a few days ago I wasn't bleeding out my coo, so I guess I'm knocked up. Is this doctor any good? <laughs> Mrs. Garrison? Oh, that's me. Hello, doctor. Looks like I need an abortion. An abortion? Yeah, I've got one growing inside me. Now you're going to scramble its brains. Okay, real quick. How stupid is Mr. Garrison, though? Like, come on, man. He has to know it's not possible for him to get pregnant. Like, like seriously, man. People who go through the surgery already know that they can't, you know, have kids or whatever. So I'm not sure what the hell Mr. Garrison or Mrs. is, is thinking. Just vacuum it out. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, look at the female nurse. She looks so shocked. If you want, you can just scramble it and I'll queef it out myself. Ew. Mr. Garrison. Gross. Mrs. Garrison. Mrs. G yes, exactly. It's Mrs. Not Mr. Mrs. Excuse me, it's ma'am. It is ma'am. You had a sex change, Mr. Garrison, but you don't have ovaries or a womb. You don't produce eggs. You mean... I'll never know what it feels like. You should have known have that. Be grown inside me and then scramble its brains and vacuum it out. That's right. But I paid five thousand dollars to be a woman. This would mean I'm not really a woman. It's no, you. Ugh, gosh. Yikes. That's all I can say, man. Yikes. I'm just a. I'm just a guy with a mutilated penis. Basically, yes. Ooh. Oh boy, do I feel Ooh. Like uh, is this episode considered mean-spirited to, like, trans people? I'm just wondering because, damn, that's a very yikes line that he said. Just a guy with a mutilated penis? Like, damn. Hey, asshole! Excuse me, I'm performing an operation here. You told me you were going to make me into a woman! I gave you a sex change. Yeah? Well, what kind of woman can't have abortions and bleed out her snatch once a month? You made me into a freak is what you did, and I want you to change me back! Am I a man yet? <laughs> Mr. Garrison, Damn. I can't reattach your organs. Why the hell not? Because I've already used your ta- Oh, see? See this episode, man. It's just like, ugh. It's so, like, Miss, Mr. Garrison's mad because he's not really, you know, a woman, and it's like, that's not what the sex change does. I mean... Ugh, I, I shouldn't say any, any more about it. Testicles to fashion new knees for a little boy who wanted to be tall and black. You what? <laughs> and your scrotum has been made into a dorsal fin for a man who wanted to look more like a dolphin. Oh, you. That sounds so You're ridiculous when you say it out loud. And scrotum right now, Mr. <laughs> man. <laughs> he just pulled the doctor by the ear. The disrespect. Wait a minute, they're in fourth grade? Those are some big ass fourth graders, damn. Boys, have you seen Kyle? He's not at home. Kyle went down to play in the basketball game, Mrs. Garrison. He's going to play basketball? Oh my god. What? Well, I only made him look like he could play basketball. If he actually does it, the testicles in his knees will explode. Oh my I god, seriously? Dude. That does not sound good at all. What is this guy doing? Like, seriously. You made him into a basketball player. No, I just made him look more like one. We have to stop him from playing. Those testicles in his knees are ticking time bombs. Oh, Jesus. Come on, boys. We've got to get to my bowels before Kyle hurts himself. Hey, 
excuse me, where where's the bathroom for dolphins? We don't have one. Well, where the hell am I supposed to go to the bathroom? I, I need a large tank with salt water. Uh, too bad. Too oh, bad. Damn. damn. You people have to make special arrangements for trans species people like me. I may be a dolphin. Okay, so. This uh, joke aged pretty well. You know, the whole trans bathroom thing? That's pretty funny. But I'm also a lawyer. You're a lawfin? A lawfin. Tickets, please. We don't have tickets. Sorry, ma'am. No tickets, no entry. Look, there's a boy with my balls in his knees, and he's in serious danger. And why is Mrs. Garrison standing like this? Is that really necessary? Like, everyone's standing normally, but she has her, like, hips all out. What? My scrotum! That dolphin has my scrotum! Now let us in! You can't go in, ma'am! Hey. Oh, damn! We have unauthorized entry on level one! Alright, Broflowski, you're going in next possession. Alright! Ow! Hmm. Uh oh. Gerald, where's Kyle? What? Why? My balls are in his knees. If he jumps <laughs> with them, they'll explode! Oh, oh my god! Front facing Gerald does not look good at all, man. That's a really cursed look. There they are next to that dolphin! Come on, we gotta get to those bones! <laughs> Stop them! They didn't pay the two dollar entry fee! Whoa, now, they're shooting at them? Number four, Kyle Roplowski. Okay, trying to kill them over two dollars is crazy. Oh Jesus, he's about to play! Dang! Oh, oh! Mrs. Garrison, grab Kyle! Which one is he? <laughs> That's such a bad joke, man. He doesn't know which one Kyle is because they're all black. I mean, it's pretty obvious which one Kyle is. He's the one with all the stitches on him with the green hat he always wears. Like, come on. Hey, what the hell? Stop the game! <laughs> <laughs> ah! What the hell? <laughs> That's so dumb. Oh, that is freaking disgusting. Oh my God, man. That was horrible that they animated that way. Oh my God. Awful. Just the way they were like swelling up before they blew up. Ugh. Oh, damn. <laughs> That's how I feel inside, man. So let me get this straight. That woman over there was trying to get to her balls, which were in the knees of a black child whose father is a dolphin. Yeah, that is pretty it. crazy. Sounds like an open and shut case. All right, let's head him out. I'm sorry, Kyle. I should have told you the surgery was cosmetic only. Why did they draw Kyle's lips like that? I just noticed that. Like, no one really has lips, but they actually went out of their way to uh, draw Kyle's lips that way. So... Does this mean I'm not really a dolphin? Let's get you two up to the clinic and I'll change you back for a nominal fee. But what about Mr. Garrison? He can't go back. You know what? I'm okay. Even though I'm not truly a woman. Even though he's not like truly a, a woman. I'd rather be Yikes. a woman who can't have periods than a fag. Hey guys! This girl is staying a woman! Oh my god. Who wants to pound my vag? Girl power! But anyways, that's the end of that episode, and uh, I'll be honest, I think that was kind of a mid-episode, um, mostly because it was very uncomfortable, kind of. Like, the sex change at the beginning of the episode is, like, really hard to watch. Like, does anyone really want to see a sex change? Like, seriously. And then, um, Gerald just looked creepy as hell in this episode. Uh, Kyle's knees exploding was pretty unsettling. Um, the whole, you know, trans thing about, you know, not really being a girl when you transition is kind of yikes. So, yeah, it was a pretty, uh, mid episode. I mean, it still had a few good laughs. Uh, my favorite part was, uh, Ike being traumatized when Gerald got his surgery, but there were other few laughs here and there, but, um, yeah, so that was that episode. Thanks for watching.